Hola, bienvenido a mi canal. Suscríbete y da like si os gusta el video. Hello, welcome to my channel. Subscribe and press like if you like it. Welcome to practice listening for the ISC1 listening task 2. You are going to hear a short talk about school rules. You will hear the talk twice. The first time, just listen, and I'll ask you to tell me in a few words what the speaker is talking about. Are you ready? Many children in the world that are going to go to school next Monday know that they have to follow the rules at school. For example, you must be on time to class in the morning and after lunch or recess breaks. Also, you need to keep your hands and feet to yourself because you need to respect other students' personal space. Moreover, you might want to raise your hand if you want to speak. On the other hand, you aren't allowed to yell or insult your classmates in order to not be rude. You are not permitted to run in the school or leave the classroom without permission. Don't forget that if you work hard, you get good marks, so you will probably have to pay attention. A lot of children were thinking that school rules are annoying, like not being able to use the mobile phone or eat in class. However, obeying all the school rules have taught children to be responsible students. Because of this, teachers and parents prefer to have school rules. Now tell me in a few words what the talk was about. Now listen to the talk again. Write down some notes about what you hear if you want to. Then I'll ask you to tell me six pieces of information about school rules. Are you ready? Many children in the world that are going to go to school next Monday know that they have to follow the rules at school. For example, you must be on time to class in the morning and after lunch or recess breaks. Also, you need to keep your hands and feet to yourself because you need to respect other students' personal space. Moreover, you might want to raise your hand if you want to speak. On the other hand, you aren't allowed to yell or insult your classmates in order to not be rude. You are not permitted to run in the school or leave the classroom without permission. Don't forget that if you work hard, you get good marks, so you will probably have to pay attention. A lot of children were thinking that school rules are annoying like not being able to use the mobile phone or eat in class. However, obeying all the school rules have taught children to be responsible students. Because of this, teachers and parents prefer to have school rules. Now tell me six pieces of information about school rules. Now let's go over the potential questions. Remember, the examiner can ask you up to four additional questions after you say the six pieces of information that you heard. Number one, what do children need to do? What do children need to do? Number two, what must happen in the morning? What must happen in the morning. Number three, how do you respect other students' personal space? How do you respect other students' personal space? Number four, what do you need to put up in order to talk? What do you need to put up in order to talk? Number five, what kind of things are rude to do? What kind of things are rude to do? Number six. If you want to leave the classroom, what do you have to do? If you want to leave the classroom, 
What do you have to do? Number seven. How can you get good marks? How can you get good marks? Number eight. Which school rules might be annoying? Which school rules might be annoying? Number nine. What do children learn to be when following the school rules? What do children learn to be when following the school rules? Number 10. Who prefers to have school rules? Who prefers to have school rules? This is the end of listening task 2.